Census. Um, it started in America in the 80s as kind of a reaction to the nuclear um, age and the Cold War kind of thing. And so there's loads of groups in America, there's loads of groups in Europe, um, and there's also even groups in Asia and Africa, countries where you wouldn't expect there to be some. Um, we started Funo Bombs Cardiff about three years ago, um, but we only used to do the odd one when we had spare time and stuff. We visited Funa Bombs Paris and they do it outside a really busy metro station every uh, single Sunday and so we helped them cook the food and we were like, yeah, if you want it to work you have to do it every week and we've been doing it every week for over a year now so there must be like at least 60 Funa Bombs that we've done. With Funa Bombs you're supposed to be somewhere visible, like um, not like hiding behind a corner, it's supposed to be here so if hungry people come here, the people in town, they can't ignore it. The people in suits walking past can't ignore the fact that they might be comfortable but there's still people um, that need to come to us for food. But the thing about Funa Bombs as well is that it's for everybody so it's not um, just like a soup kitchen where homeless people go. It's um, for everybody so we get a big mix of people which I think is really good because you don't want to create a division between um, poor people and rich people. So. It just brings people together and I think that's an important thing that food can do is bring people together to talk. The way we promote Funa Bombs, I guess we've done a few events um, to raise money and raise awareness and try and get um, new volunteers to help us. So we put posters up around the place, we make flyers, we take them to like the Big Issue office where people go to um, sign up to become Big Issue sellers and we put them in the homeless hostels. We do go around give, giving leaflets to people to make sure that they know about it and um, try and get them to come here every Friday. Um, we do get different people coming every week that are homeless. Um, and we're also like sort of affiliated with the, uh, with the homeless organisation in Cardiff, and uh, they've given us some a bag of clothes, hats, scarves, socks, gloves, and we hand them out to them here if they need it. I think worldwide it's very effective. Um, I think. As far, as far as I know, I've seen videos of people trying to do it in other countries and I think the authorities try and stop them, but um, we're okay here, the, the, it's been going on, we celebrated the whole years of um, operating uh, in November, um, doing it every Friday uh, uh, for a whole year, um, and um, the effect it has on Cardiff, I think it's nothing but positive because we get regulars coming back, we got people who pass on the street and they just donate money um, even though they're not eating so it obviously has an effect on the general public where they see that we're doing a good thing. Our like, three principles, core principles are is the food is always free and vegan or vegetarian, that we use non-violent uh, direct action and we use consensus. Most of the stuff we have is donated. We get donations from the general public and then we use that to by certain things. Our message is quite simple. We believe that um, food is a is a right, not a privilege. Food of bombs is a, is a protest against um, war and poverty. So um, it's a, it's a, it's an action. It's a protest in its in its own right when, when we're doing it. We believe in feeding uh, uh, the general public. People can join us and help us. They, we, they can come and help us cook. They can uh, help us uh, serve food. They can. D donate food, donate money, they can spread the word about what we're doing, um, they can set up their own group, um, because we're, we're only doing this on one day a week. Uh, if you look at cities, bigger cities obviously like San Francisco, they have like uh, a group doing ne nearly every uh, every day, the food of bombs, and also in New York I think they have uh, a, a group that serves um, they serve like uh, seven days a week, but it's like two hot meals a, a day, and then they, they share like food. Some people kind of ask like, what's the difference between Funa Bombs and a, a normal kind of soup kitchen? Um, I think the difference is that we believe in solidarity, not charity. So we're not like giving people stuff and looking down at them. We're giving them a meal, and then we're talking to them, and um, that's why we don't really have takeaway things because we want people to stay here and talk to us um, so if they've got any like problems like if they've been sanctioned on benefits or if they um, 
or if they've got problems finding homeless place, we've got a, um, a list of all the kind of hostels they can stay in. We've got a list of all the places that do free food, so if they like just become homeless or something, we can tell them about that. And then you just get people that want to talk to you about what's happening in the news or something, and so we try and give our view on that, like a kind of alternative view. And the main thing we're trying to get across, which most people seem to agree with, but sometimes you still get people shouting at you, um, is the, which is a good thing, because I don't think people shout at us a soup kitchen. So we must be doing something right with the banners and stuff, um, if people are shouting at us. <laughs> um, but the main thing we try and get across is that we think the government spends too much money on wars, illegal wars, um, whilst um, like I, I read in the news, there's even like food poverty in this country now. Like it's in a, a public state of emergency. Um, but also, like the, the most shocking thing I think is there's enough food in the world to feed everybody. But yeah, there's still people dying of hunger every day. For me, doing food or bombs is like the one thing in the week where um, it's almost therapeutic chopping the vegetables, and it's really good to meet people that I wouldn't usually meet. Like, um, like it's just a really um, good mix of people so it's a way to meet people and talk to people about the problems um, which I probably wouldn't come across in my day-to-day -day life and so I'm really happy about doing Food Not Bombs it's, it makes me feel like I'm doing something good every week and the fact that we're like actually organizing ourselves as well makes it different to like say if I was volunteering in a charity shop or something like I think that makes people feel good but because we're actually organizing this ourselves like a small group of there's only like about 10 of us um, that makes it special as well, like, if, if we didn't do it, then nobody would be doing it.